Hello. Today I'm going to be walking you through SIM 2021 annual meeting to show you how to use the platform. Before the event, you're going to receive a welcome email with your unique login credentials and the link to access the platform. You'll click login and enter the email used to register for the event. And then you'll enter the unique badge ID found within that welcome email and click claim account. Next, you'll be prompted to create your own unique password, which will be used moving forward. Once you do so, you'll be successfully logged into the platform. The first time you log into the platform, you'll be prompted to go through a quick onboarding process. First, you'll have the opportunity to connect with your Facebook or LinkedIn for the purpose of populating your profile picture within the platform. If you'd like to connect to your social channels to pull in your profile picture, you'll simply select the channel of choice and follow the prompts. Otherwise, click Next, and I'll show you how to add that later on. Next, you'll be asked to fill out this, these onboarding questions specific to you and your individual preferences. So these are blank. You'll be able to click through and select the option that is most relevant for you for each of these sections. The purpose of these preference questions is to learn about you so we can teach our smart AI solution more about your preferences to serve you smart recommendations of professionals to meet at this year's event. Once you fill out all of these um, questions, you'll be able to select next. And then you'll have the option to select your contact details visibility setting. So within the platform, you could have your contact details as private, meaning no one can see them, as connections only, meaning only those you've shown a mutual connection with can see your contact details, or public, meaning anybody on the platform can see your contact details. So you select your preference of choice and select next. And then lastly, you'll be asked to consent to a data sharing form just giving us permission to use your data anonymously for the purpose of strengthening our AI solution. So you'll toggle this on and click Start Networking. Now, once you go through the onboarding process, the first thing you're going to want to do is to update your profile. So you're gonna click on Profile on the top right corner, and you're gonna make sure the details here are all filled out and accurate to you as an individual. If you did not pull in your profile picture from your social media channels, you can do so here by clicking on the pencil icon and pulling in that picture from your desktop. Now your first name, last name, headline, and profile picture are the first pieces of information that other professionals will see when you are being served as a recommendation within the platform. So it's important to have those details filled out. Most commonly, we see your headline as your job title and company name. If I scroll down, you'll see your contact details. So at any time, you can change your visibility preference if you wish. And then down below, you'll see all of the questions that you filled out in the onboarding process. So at any time your preferences change, you're able to go in and make the appropriate adjustment and click Update. And this will teach the AI more about you so we can learn to serve you smarter recommendations. Lastly, at the bottom, if there's any additional information you would like to share, you could add it to the summary field here. And this could be any information you think would be relevant for users to know about yourself when determining if they want to form a connection or request a meeting. Now, once you're done, you'll click Update Profile and you'll be notified that it's been successfully saved. Ne the next thing you're going to want to do is to manage your availability. So you're going to click on Manage My Availability on the left-hand side. And here what we're doing is marking our availability of your calendar throughout the event. So the purpose of this is so that when other users are requesting meetings with you, they're only going to be served dates and times where you've said you're available. So here we have the dates of the event and when the platform will be open to allow for meetings. And you'll notice that the time is 24 hours. So we are allowing anybody to request or have meetings at times that are most um, applicable or relevant for them, no matter where they're tuning in from it for this year's event. So you could go in and mark off a specific date 
as busy, meaning you're not maybe participating in the event that day, um, or you have another conflict, or you can go through and just find the times that you're unavailable to meet and block those off accordingly, as you can see here. Now, it's really important to note that this is a 24-hour calendar, which means I can technically send a meeting at 3 a.m. So please make sure to go into your availability and block off those times where you might be sleeping or offline for the evening. So you're only going to receive those meeting requests during the working hours. Once you're done, you'll click save. And now your profile is all set up and you're ready to go. You'll click home to return to the home page. Now, during the SIM 21 annual meeting, there's a lot of things for you to participate in this year's event. You'll notice this home feed in the middle of the page is where you'll see some high priority information for you to um, monitor throughout the event. And you'll notice this left-hand navigation is also available for you to be able to search the full platform for anything that you might need. On the right-hand side, you'll have your connections board. So that any time you form a new connection, that individual will appear here and you'll be able to open that up to send them a quick message throughout the event. On the top, we have a notifications bell. So as you receive meeting requests or make new connections, you'll be notified via the notification bell. And if you're looking for anything specifically, you could always use the search bar to find that information. So now starting with the left-hand navigation, I'll go through each of these items and explain how they can be used to help you have the most successful event this year. Starting with speed networking. So here we have a schedule of all the sessions where we'll be having speed networking take place during the event. You'll receive this quick tutorial when you first log into the platform, just to give you a quick update on what's to happen. You'll be able to go through each of these stages to learn more. But essentially, speed networking are three minute uh, meeting sessions with anyone participating in that session where you can go and build new connections. So you'll see the schedule here and you can add them to your schedule or you can send it to your calendar outside the platform so you don't forget. Next, we have recommended for you. So this is an AI powered matchmaking solution. So you will be served recommendations of professionals to meet with based off the onboarding questions and how you've interacted on the platform. So you'll be able to go through and click show interested or skip on those individuals. And of course, request a meeting if you'd like to. The more you interact by showing interest and in skip, the smarter the AI solution will become serving you more relevant leads. Interested in you will be a list of all those you've shown interest in. Um, so if they, if you have anybody in your interested list, really important here, because these are incoming leads. So once you show mutual interest back, a connection would be made and you would now see them on your connections board and be able to live chat with them. So really important to be monitoring interested in you because those are where all your inbound leads will be. My connections. These are those individuals who you form mutual, uh, who you've shown mutual interest in. So you formed a connection, and so you'll see them here. And of course, you can chat with them, view your meeting if you already have a meeting on the books, or if you have don't have a meeting on the books, you'll be able to request a meeting as well. My interested list. This will be the list of all the individuals you've shown interest in. So you could kind of keep a running tab of those um, that you'd like to connect with. So you can monitor to make sure that they actually um, convert to a connection. My skip list. These are all the individuals that you've skipped. Maybe they were irrelevant to your business or did not find a meeting, uh, a need to meet with them in any way. So you've skipped them and they would appear on this list. Again, this is just a running tab for you to understand the activity that you have on the platform, but no one would be notified that you skipped them. What skipping does is it teaches our AI solution more about your preferences to serve you smarter recommendations. So really important to skip on those who are irrelevant to you. My schedule. Here you'll be able to see all the meetings that you have scheduled for the event. You'll see the dates and the times of those meetings as well as who you're meeting with and you will see um, the status of those meetings. 
These already happen, so you're seeing expired, but if you have a confirmed meeting, it will be in green and say confirmed. If you're waiting for a response, you've sent out a meeting request, it will say awaiting response. And of course, if it's pending, you can respond and accept or decline that meeting request and the status would show as pending. Event agenda. This is where you'll find all the education programming for this year's event. You'll see it broken down by day and then time. If there's speakers, you'll see them attached to the session as well. And you could always click in to see more details about the session. Always remember to add the session to the schedule if you'd like to participate in it. So it will remind you of when that session is about to begin and you get those links. So click add to schedule. And then you'll notice it appears within your schedule here amongst your meetings. And then we also have a couple lists here to help you navigate through the platform to see who is participating in this year's event. We have a list for attendees, presenters, sponsor representatives, and the industry sponsors, which are the companies. So you'll be able to go through each of these lists to find out who is participating and be able to show interest, skip, or request a meeting outside of the recommendations that we serve. And you'll notice at the top of these lists, you have a filter in place for you to narrow down your search as you see fit. Here we have the list of presenters sponsor representatives, industry sponsors, and then last we have the product showcase. So this is a list of all the products being shown at this year's event. You can filter it by company if you wish or by product category to find products that are most relevant for you. You can click into the product to learn more details and also to see what company that product is from, and you can navigate to their profile to learn more about that company if you'd wish. If you'd like to request a meeting with that company or you're interested in learning more, you can message them, you can show interest in them, which will alert them to reach out to you, or you can request a meeting. And you'll see at the top, a representative for that company will be auto-populated in that meeting request, and you can go through and select the dates and the times that you'd like that meeting to take place. Now, if you remember back from that availability calendar, you set up the availability for yourself. So the dates and the times that appear on these drop-down lists are going to be the dates and times where you and the invitees all said you're available to meet. So it takes the scheduling legwork out of it and you can quickly and efficiently book those meetings. And then last but not least, we have tech support at the bottom. So if you have any questions during the event um, in regards to the platform, please feel free to click on tech support and an automated email will pop up um, and you'll be able to fill out your question and we have a team in place to help you answer those. So I hope this overview was helpful uh, and I wish you the best of luck at this year's event. Thank you.